Hello and welcome to another episode of TSL Talk. I've got my uh, colleague Adam Smith back with us, looking a million dollars as usual. And uh, we really saw uh, the uh, weather take effect on the round this weekend, uh, no more so that KG5 um, was a real slog fest and uh, Hobart kept goalless. I think it was the lowest score in a state league game since 1997. Yeah, it was a throwback to the, to the old days, wasn't it? Where uh, you didn't get roof domes and, uh, and good weather and uh, look, it was a real mud bath. I saw a little bit of it on TV and I guess it was just going to be whoever could kick a, a couple of goals was going to win and Glenorchy managed to do that. So. I suppose the biggest story out of the game is uh, someone who wasn't there, Jason Akamanis. It's uh, revealed last week he's only going to play one more game for Glenorchy this season. There's no doubt it's been a great success off field, but would Glenorchy be a little bit disappointed in what Akers brought on field? Oh, if I was in the hierarchy, I probably would be. I mean, he's, you can't doubt what he's done off the field, you know, the first couple of games and the money he's made. I mean, you know, it was a, a real huge success. And but, I mean, what he's played seven games, he's kicked nine goals, wasn't named in the best in any of those. Um, he kicked four against South Launceston, he played okay that day. But you would have thought, I'd, you know, maybe that they would have got a bit more out of him. He'd only just come out of the game, and the fact that Russell Robinson's come down and played one game and kicked five, I think, shows it all. And I suppose the thing they would have been hoping for most is for uh, Acker to turn it on in a big game, like a final where he uh, could have been a real match winner, and they're not going to see that now. No, it's a, it's a bit disappointing. I mean, I think it was always going to be difficult to get him down every week, and before he signed, we heard a lot of rumours about how many games he was going to play, and I think even Glenorchy would be a bit disappointed that they didn't get him for at least sort of 10 or 11. So, got one more in the final game of the year, and let's hope he, may, you know, he might go out with a bang. Who knows? And the other big mover of the weekend is Lauderdale. They, uh, they keep chipping away. They haven't quite made it into the top five yet, but they're doing all the right things and uh, gave North Lonnie a touch-up on uh, Saturday. Yeah, they are. They're, they're hanging around and, you know, they just need to claim one or two more big scalps and, you know, they could be pushing. And uh, if with a favourable draw and a couple of the other teams, you know, with a few losses, you know, you never know. It'd be good to see them in there, sort of give them a bit of a taste, but they'll be fighting for a sixth spot and, you know, that fifth spit to get in. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can see them in there. I'd like to see them. It'd be a bit different. Yeah, there's only one game separating uh, third and seventh with North Hobart at seventh. If you look at North Hobart, they've got a percentage at 92.48 and it could really cost them. Yeah, they were going through it before. I think the last two years for finals, nine wins has got you uh, got you in that last spot. Um, you know, 10 would make it safe, but with it being a bit more even this year as well, you know, I think that loss against Launceston a couple of weeks ago when they got hammered really did take a hit to their percentage. and. They're fighting an uphill battle. Um, they looked okay on the weekend, but with a couple of their key players out, they could struggle to make the top five. And like you mentioned before, we had uh, Russell Robinson come down and play for Burnie. You think it's good for the competition to have these one-off cameos, or is it sort of undermine the uh, competitiveness of it? It's, it's a difficult one. I mean, getting a marquee player in, you know, you'd like to get a few people, and by all reports, the conditions up there weren't conducive to going out and, uh, and actually seeing it, seeing it live. But 1,500 people um, have to be a good thing up there. The continuity of the side's always the problem for me. I mean, flying a guy in, Russell wouldn't know team structures or anything. He still kicked five, um, but yeah, it's it's a different one. I mean, it, it's good for a marketing point of view, but if you want it to last for a full season, I think you really need to have a guy based down here and training and playing. I suppose probably didn't hurt that much it was against Devonport, who. Let's be honest, we're never going to be competitive. And it helped Devonport out with uh, people through the gate. So maybe in this situation, when there wasn't a lot, a lot riding on the game in terms of result, maybe it was a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at Ackermanis, you know, he's come in and he's, you know, he trained half a dozen times with the group. And, you know, they, it showed the way that they used him and where he ran. And he probably didn't know exactly how the Glenorchy went about it. So one-off games, you know, there's talk next year if Russell can come back and bring, you know, a, somebody, a rich old somebody to come and play for Devonport, well, you know, that attract Double the crowd, I think, wouldn't it? So that's right. Um, and it's what we said before. It's top between uh, third and sevens, but you can't see anyone from from those positions pu uh, pushing uh, Launceston and Clarence, can you? No, nah, I think it's a two-horse race at the moment. Launceston going on their merry way. Clarence Day and roll into some good form, and if it's not a Clarence North Launce uh, Launceston, sorry, Grand Final, I'd be very surprised. All right, Adam. Thanks very much for your tips, and uh, for our three viewers out there, we'll be back on Friday morning to do a preview of the uh, upcoming round, which, will, which hopefully will become a weekly event. So, remember for all your T-cell stories, pick up your copy of the Mercury or go to the Mercury online.